Writing Voice Camp is open now and it closes on Friday. And the discount rate is on Friday. But anyway, that's not what I want to talk to you right now. What I want to talk to you about is beating fear and walking in courage. Beating fear and walking in courage. You know, I saw something inside the voice camp of one of our new members that totally blessed me. She did something for the first time and she did it scared. She did it not sure. She did it all these things that were, oh, I can't do it. She did a live voice video to introduce herself to the voice camp and do you know what that's like the key to courage that's like the key to beating fear sometimes you have to do it afraid because you know i talk to a lot of people right here with my little headset on and right away when i see that that fear is sometimes they'll say it's their number one issue and sometimes they'll just beat around the bush but i see that uh fear of failure and fear of even success i feel like this like this double-edged sword that can either make you or break you you can either turn that sword in you fear and then just totally stay frozen or you can like do something scared do it anyway and realize that hey i just got boosted up in a level of courage now i'm using a live facebook example what, there's lots of different, lots of different things you can think about, but I'm just talking about that. I believe sometimes you have a dream, okay, and that you have that dream, and you're almost afraid to share that dream because you're afraid people will mock you, or you have a dream, hey Carol, and you're like fear stops you cold. So my challenge for you is to take that dream and unpack that dream. How do I mean that? I mean, write it down. Let's say you may even have pieces of that dream all over your desk. You want to be that life coach, or you want to have multiple streams of income, or you want to be able to find your voice and really share your voice. And all these pieces are all over the place. But something keeps stopping you. Often it's fear. Often it's a fear to invest in yourself. Hey, Tina, good to see you. Often it can be just the simple fact of, what if I try and I fail? and it paralyzes you. I have really believed, I have really have enjoyed the, the empowerment of doing something scared. Meaning, I'm not sure, but I'm not just gonna sit here and think about it, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'll give you an example. Uh, pu publishing my first book. I realized if I did not take action, it would stay in my computer. <laughs> stay there and no one would get to read it. And it's not like a lot of people are reading out on Amazon, but that was like something I had to do scared. So I had to go through the process, find the process, find my voice. I knew my voice was being expressed there. Now I got to do it afraid. I may have had some help from a video. So anyway, but I did it scared. And then it was like, okay, I just put it up and you're, you're waiting for that notification from Amazon. And then it's like, boom, your voice, your book is live. And you're like, Phew. Now, let me tell you something. I did that scared and I did not do it perfect. If you were to read this book, which I need to edit, help someone help me edit this. There are mis there's a few misspell and I don't have misspells as much as punctuation. Sorry, mom. My mom's a big punctuation person. But this was volume two. So I had to get my courage over volume one to get it out there. So often I believe you have things locked in. It may be locked in your computer, it may be locked in your very heart. And fear is what's keeping you from A investing in yourself to learn how to make it be time I'm guilty of this of wasting away my time at night watching America's Got Talent well you know what something happened the last three weeks we turned the TV off completely last three weeks no TV no numbing out Teresa and what I found was I had time to nurture that dream I had time to even go to sleep and dream about that dream that I have What's my dream? My dream is to help someone like you get over your fears and join us in our voice camp and be able to be surrounded by community and find the keys to find your voice, often which is just your fears. Uh, get over the fact that you had some hurt in the back. When I mean get over it, find some healing from the drama, the trauma. That's my dream. My dream is to rally men and women to rise up and you spread their authentic voice because in your authentic voice you are truly connecting to heaven that's what my free webinar is all about you got to go check that out 
at RedeemYourVoice.com. So I don't want to throw a bunch of links out here. I just got to tell you that I was so inspired by Misty. Misty, if you're watching this live or recorded, you so inspired me. She was so cute. It was like, not everyone is brave enough, even in my Redeem Your Voice group, which is small, to like turn that live button on. And you know what I saw? I saw her do something scared, but as she got along, as Missy began to do something scared, I saw something on her that I believe I could see on you. I saw the brilliance of God start to emerge. I saw this flower that was like this, and then she stepped out, she stepped out, and she became a beautiful flower in a safe place on our group. So she, you know, there's not that many, there's not thousands and thousands watching. I just think, that you are meant for courage because your voice is the courage driver. And I think so often the enemy wants to put a clamp on your dreams, which in essence is putting a clamp on your voice. But can you rise up in courage? And when I mean courage, it's like this and do something afraid. Let me, let me just explain that a little bit. It's like, uh, it's like movement. It's like action. You may be scared, but you're going to do it anyway. I remember my first day on the radio. I was hired as an announcer, <laughs> and I had a Saturday shift. It was like, oh, man, 1990, okay? And I remember I was nervous. I wasn't scared, but I was nervous, and I was like, am I going to push the buttons right? And that mic, I turned the mic on, the little flip, and it was like, I could barely talk. My heart started racing and I could barely catch my breath, but I was going to do it scared because I wanted this job. If my boss saw that, you know, that I wasn't doing it. So anyway, how I got hired is another story. It's pretty cool. God shut the door open story for you. So maybe I'll tell that story sometime because to give you courage. So will you keep dreaming? Will you walk away from fear and, and to walk away from fear, go ahead and do something scared. But do it in the confidence, not in yourself, but the confidence in Christ that's in you. There lies your courage. I mean, I would love to be brave and um, meet with me one-on-one -on -one and we'll talk about these things. Talk about the voice camp. I'm not afraid to do that. Sometimes people look at a, a page that they can get on a voice camp and they're like, I don't know. I'm not sure. If you're not sure inbox me and let's set up a time to talk because I'm doing that more as we go up to voice camp ending. Why am I ending voice camp? Well, I'm only opening a certain amount of time because I want to reward those who went to the live webinar and who have taken, taken action either by talking to me or signing up. I'm giving them instead of $67, which will go back up in sometime in September when I open it or $49. And to be able to get in and be rallied and to be encouraged to push back past this, the, the fears. I wrote down some things of why this is important, like live voice calls once a week where you get to learn certain keys to find your voice. That you'd have community support. Oh, there's nothing like community. That you would have a library of videos on your own time that you could go and read and listen to and stir up that courage. But more than anything, I just think you have a dream and it's deep down inside of you. Keep dreaming, keep laying out the pieces. If you gotta journal it, if even you're in your journaling, you're writing your book, keep writing, keep speaking, keep moving forward, keep doing action. Nothing will be fear more than when you take action. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I just was very passionate about that. I'm stuck with everything, no matter which way. Can I talk to you, Carol, about that if you're still on? I appreciate your honesty. She says she's stuck with everything, every which way she goes. This is a great way to come to this place in faith and try to unstick yourself one thing at a time. More than anything, be honest with God. So this is what I have you do, Carol. So. You're focusing, your face, you, this is what it is. I'm stuck, you may can relate to this. I'm stuck, it seems like every which way. You're fo you focus on that, then you bring it into reality. I'm not gonna stuff how this feels, I'm gonna face this in reality. It really, really sucks. Excuse my language, that's just, it, it sucks, okay? So Carol, it doesn't feel good, but when you face it in reality, what that does is it brings it to the open. What's revealed in the light is covered by the blood. It brings it to the open and it's not digging down where it's the fertile soil of fear when we keep it down. Okay, so 
you focused on it, you were honest, you said, this is reality. I can only imagine. I know what it's like to feel stuck in every which way. It just feels terrible. You, you get locked up in fear. You're like, where's my courage? But this is the third part. You bring in the presence of God. You tack on a promise to that problem. You go to the house of wine and in his presence is fullness of joy. You, you go into the house of wine. You connect. Okay, I'm feeling this way, but I'm going to go into the house of wine. I'm going to go into his presence because in his presence is fullness of joy. In the house of wine is the kingdom of God. That's righteousness. That's peace. That's joy. The righteousness that he who knew no sin became sin on my behalf. That I might become the righteousness of him in Christ. So that that's like okay I can get over my trauma I am free I can forgive and find freedom I can find peace the peace that passes all understanding as I keep my mind stayed on him that my times are in his hands peace can come all this on the third step connecting connecting the presence of God to the reality of what you're feeling and then joy in his presence is fullness of joy I don't know if that helped Carol or if that helps someone else. But I would like to challenge you to do something scared. One of two things, let's see. Uh, if you haven't gone to redeemyourvoice.com, sign up there and get the free webinar. And then on the second page, you'll get a chance to connect with me. I mean, that, that might be something scared. Or I'm gonna suggest you go to redeemyourvoice.com forward slash voice camp and get in on the voice camp before Friday at a reasonable rate compared to where it's going to go up and do something scared. Join a group of women, men and women who are learning to find their voice, share their voice. Some of them are even learning how to market their voice to bring in those different streams of income.